in the new headlight housings and then put in the new 8000K HIDs. I haven't quite aimed the headlights yet, but they're already still pretty pretty good right now. Um, I'm not going to do too much tweaking on them because I don't really need to do too much. I'm just going to go and align them perfectly just because I like to have them as good as they can be. Haven't done the fog lights yet because we got to get the short HID bulbs for that because the the fog light housings in this are pretty uh, short housings. They're the bulbs that normally come for these are way too long, so we got to order the shorties. So I'm waiting on those. I'll probably get those in tomorrow night, hopefully, and then I'll be able to post that too. But as for now, they're pretty bright. Um, a lot better than what the other lights were. You can even tell my factory ones were on. And then when I got the new housings in, it made a huge difference. But then when I put these in, it is like night and day. And of course, without the uh, automatic on headlights at night and without the daytime running lights, it's working a lot better than what it would with them. And like I said in the other video, that was just simply pulling a fuse for me. And that solved that problem. So, it's pretty good. Um, I'm pretty impressed with them. I got a buddy of mine I order them through. But uh, I got mine for about 200 for the set of both the fog lights and the headlights for all of them, 200 total, which is really good actually for considering the fact that they are high quality name brand HIDs, not some cheap knockoff crap that's going to burn out on me in a week. They came with ballast and everything and everything I would need to do just to make them work. Uh, we took about about 20 minutes. My friend and I were able to put them in the car. Um, we just took the housings out, pulled out the old bulbs, and put the HIDs on them, mounted the ballast, and then put the headlights in. We did it all correct, too. I'll show you in another video how we got them wired up. They, uh, the ballast are put in properly. We didn't just lay them down on top of anything or have them just kind of sitting around under the hood where they can move around. We used... Uh, extremely adhesive double-sided tape that I swear it's like putting Gorilla Glue on tape. You just Once you mount it, you're not getting it off. Um, you'd almost have to like break the housings just to pull them back, or break the uh, ballast just to pull them back off. And so uh, they're pretty stuck on there. We got them mounted on the side of the frame down there where they're going to be safe from damage, safe from water, safe from as much vibration as possible. Um, they're pretty shielded. They're out of the way. The cords easily reach to the headlight housings. And uh, everything's set up so I can quickly disconnect it for like when I want to remove my headlight when I go out and race. Because anybody knows that anything about these cars is that the intake is right behind the left ha uh, headlight assembly. And so if you want to maximize your time and maximize your intake being able to function properly, you got to take that headlight out. It takes all of like two minutes at most to just undo two bolts on the top and disconnect the uh, plugs and wires and then just pull the whole assembly out and you're done. And um, the bolts are really easy. You can use either an adjustable wrench or you can use a uh, crescent wrench. You can use a socket wrench. I mean, there's so many different things you can use. As long as it just fits it, you know, just right, and you can just unscrew it. Just two bolts right on top. They're easy to get to. To adjust these, there's just two little um, Allen key wrenches right behind there that's a little bit harder to get to. Uh, you need kind of like a longer one to reach them easily. But once you get to them, they're pretty easy to adjust the lights too. But I'll show you those in another video. So, yeah, now you can see just how good these actually function. I would recommend these to anybody. Um, and I don't have the projector beam headlights. I didn't really need them. The factory OEM ones I've seen work great with these. And uh, the projector ones, it's been 50 50. I've seen some of them that were nice, but I've also seen some of them come out like crap and just not put that much light on the road. They look cool, but some of them just, they just don't put the light out like they're supposed to. And these do these put it out really good so there you have it